everybody out there, YouTube pipe community, Jeff here, Texas Tobacco Time. How are you? Long week. Um, spent most of the week in Florida and just got back uh, to Houston uh, this week. But anyway, a uh, few things I want to share with you. I got a few new pipes. I'll share those with you. I'm not smoking today because my family doesn't allow me to smoke in the house and that's the way it is. But uh, hey, uh, I want to share a few things with you. Um, kind of cool, but before I get in my pipe openings, I want to show you something. So most of you know I had a cigar business. I also owned um, uh, CigarNews.com for a while, and CigarNews.com was the official media uh, site for the IPCPR, which is the National Pipe and Tobacco Show that's held in Vegas. So in 2013, uh, we covered it, and um, I... Uh, one of the artists, I also, also owned a company called CigarArt.net, and one of the artists painted the official uh, painting for the IPCPR show. And I'm going to show it to you. I actually have the original, and it's sitting in my office, and, you know, by comment, let me know what you think about it. It's kind of cool. So take a look at it. Let me know what you think about this. It was done by uh, an artist named Eric Whitfield. Eric's a great guy. If you're interested in buying any of his work, not the original, because that's um, mine, but if you're interested in any of the prints, let me know and I can get you in touch with Eric. But take a look at this, kind of cool. Um, you'll see there in the drawing, uh, IPCPR was in Vegas, so it says welcome uh, there in IPCPR 2013. And there's a beautiful woman there with her eyes closed uh, with a headdress, Indian headdress on it, and with a lit cigar. So look at the detail that's in that headdress, it's kind of cool. So, um, anyway, that was the official painting of the show, and uh, I bought it for myself from Eric, and it sits in my uh, uh, office, so kind of cool. Let me know by comments what you think about this, and uh, if you're interested in Eric's work, let me know. I can get you a print or something. He's got probably about 80 different prints, but I love art, and I love art tied to cigars, so that's kind of cool. So, let me get to, um, I got a few uh, gifts in the mail this week. Uh, I uh, was turned on the Etsy, E-T-S-Y. Seems to have better pipes sometimes than eBay. And uh, so I bought, I've never had a, uh, um, I don't know what it is, it's a billiard, billiards pipe I bought on Etsy. But take a look, nice, beautiful billiards pipe. Uh, I don't know what brand it is, but I love the briar and the wood there. And uh, you can see it was uh, redone, reconditioned. And they did a great job, but no no bite marks there either. So um, anyway, I love it. It uh, it worked really well, and uh, brand new pipe for my collection. I think I'm up to 40 uh, 40 pipes, and I've only um, I guess been in the community here for about a month or a month and a half. And I never had a Wally Frank, so I bought this on the uh, on I think Etsy too. And this is a Wally Frank pipe, I think that's what it's called, uh, Wally Frank, LTD, France, so kind of a cool little pipe, I don't know what you call this size, but um, anyway, uh, again, reconditioned, done a really good job, no bite marks, so that's another pipe, and then, um, as most of you know, I held the subscriber contest, and Rick Black won, so I sent Rick his aged cigars for winning, but Rick sent me a nice note and said, you know, you obviously know a lot about cigars, you know, can you send me, you know, 15, 20 cigars in exchange for one of my pipes? So I said, absolutely, let's do a swap. So we did. So Rick sent me a box and uh, a pipe, my first Rick Black pipe. So I'll share with you what the uh, Rick Black pipe looks like. And a nice uh, bag here, but it's a Rick Black pipe poker. And uh, let me get my finger out of the way. You can take a look at that. Um, beautiful pipe, uh, beautiful stem. Love the design. Um, uh, love the, uh, you'll see the uh, ring there. Just beautiful. And then, of course, the bowl. Uh, great rustication. And uh, it's going to smoke really well. So, uh, and then his stamp. Okay, you probably can't see it, but his stamp on the bottom. So, um, anyway, Rick, thank you. Uh, 
it, uh, it's going to smoke great, and I appreciate the swap. Um, I know you'll definitely enjoy the aged cigars, both uh, the stuff that you won from uh, the five pack you won from uh, the subscriber contest, in addition to the others I sent me for the swap. So, again, Rick, thanks for the pipe. I love it. Look at that Rick Black Pipes. You can go check out his website, and uh, if you don't have one, try one out. So, I'm looking forward to uh, putting some Mississippi River in there and smoking it. So, that's that. I've got through three new pipes to the uh, collection. My favorite is uh, the Rick Black Pipe. I uh, can't wait to go, and I just absolutely love that that stem. Just really cool stuff, Rick. So uh, that's that. I hope everybody had a great week, and I wanted to give you a quick five-minute update on what we're doing down here, Texas Tobacco Time. Have a good one.